Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at Maya 2022, the brand new sweep mesh that is now available with Maya. So we've talked about how you can make ropes and also how you can work with cables directly in Maya before, but it's very interesting to see that the folks at Autodesk have now implemented this one. So a very cool example of how this works is this. Now if you go over to your curve slash surface tab and let's say we get the EP curve and I click, click, make a couple of points, all right? And what we can do is just in case you you want to create rope all you need to do now is select go over to where you have create and now add the sweep mesh and once you throw that in directly within your attribute editor you would notice that you have poly rectangle line arc wave and also custom so how this works is very interesting this controls the segments so if i go ahead and turn on you know the edges you'll be able to see that and i can also take off the floor so you guys can see so you can actually use this to control the segment if you want this to be in a star shape form you can get this to work in a star shape form so basically what they've done is they've taken a look at the wire tool and actually revamped it a little bit so with this now you can simply make tubes and you can work with this one and if you go over to where you have the distribute you can also distribute this in a radial form and also in a square and a linear form so this is also going to be very useful so in case you want to make linear stuff or maybe you just want to make some uh radial stuff like this yep you can now do these things so if you also go all the way down you also notice that there's a couple of other parameters they have so in case you want to scale the instancing you can do that and you can also grab them and make them bigger this controls the coverage and going all the way down you can see that you have some more features that controls things like the taper so in case you want to taper one end right so you can taper this part and you can also proceed to twist this so we can twist this a little bit more and this is not the end you can actually type three on the keyboard to make it more maybe even make it five so that you can get the most out of it select the model press three on your keyboard to smooth that out if this is what you're into and with this you can start doing some very nice looking things so some of the things to keep in mind is once you also go over to a section like this where you have your rectangle you can just switch this to the rectangle so for that i'm going to simply delete this and uh you know let's make a brand new one create that grid one more time and instead of using the ep let's say you're kind of restyling and you want to use the pen tool to do some very nice things i'm just going to go ahead and create a very cool cable like so so by simply drawing this directly on your viewport if you go over to where you have your curve go right here to where you have rebuild click on the toolbox you would notice that you can now rebuild the span so with this i can rebuild the span to about 10 but that doesn't seem to be great so let's actually make this 20 and press apply and that looks cool let's press apply one more time click on close if you're not comfortable with this you want it to be a bit more you know smooth you can also go over to where you have a curve and go to smooth and click on the toolbox one more time and we can smooth this a little bit more that's a bit too much so i will just drag that down and hit apply one more time and you have a much more smoother object to work with so now that we have these our custom built you know cable rope you can also go back to where you have create and get the sweep mesh so with the sweep mesh right now if we go over to where we have the rectangle you can now see that you have a couple of bevels around several parts so how do you control that stuff how you can control it is simple with the width you can control the width of the cable you can also use the height to control this and for the rounded corners which is more like a beveling corner you can use this to actually tidy it up or make it broader and you can use this for the segmentation so you can have more segments around there and if you like to have some deepening parts of the corners you can also add depth to this so this is a very very nice one to have and if you need like a flat surface you know you just want to use this flat surface to make stuff you can do that and because all of this that you're working on they're all tied to the curve it simply means that if you right click and go over to where you have your control vertices you can select this and you can move them around so you can move them around you can reposition this you can just have fun all right so some other things to also keep in mind while working with the sweep mesh is right here you also have the arc so if i switch and select the arc as well we can use the arc to do all of the same things that we did earlier so in terms of you know adding subdivisions you can do that if you like to distribute this as well you can also distribute this and create some cool things the wave is also pretty nice so you can also use the wave to actually get some desired results so if i select that go over to the wave we can use this to create that amplitude and uh you know we can run the cycles through and we can also do some 
some offsetting which is very nice and i kind of find this one very cool for those who like to do things like motion graphics or maybe you want to use these for you know some sort of animation these might also come in quite handy so last but not the least is the custom so how do you work with a custom and how do you get good with it so we've taken a look at the poly the rectangle the line arc and also the wave so for the custom how this one works is quite simple if we simply click on the custom you'd notice that it gives us a very nice dialog box which requires the type and also the profile so if you select this and select a poly object it's going to look at the poly object and use that if you select a face it's going to use a face to actually create the sweep and if you select a poly edge it will use that and right here is the profile section which you need to just simply select and let's take a look at a very simple example right click create a simple plane go right over here press t on your keyboard and lose all of this okay so maybe i'm just gonna make this three by three actually let's make it four by four i guess four by four looks good okay so we can make that four by four and maybe we can just simply uh move this let's actually scale this one a little bit upwards and i would also go through select the object right click select face and maybe i can delete that part and we can have that as it is and maybe go back here select the vertices here select the vertices there go to the scale scale this one in and maybe go right over here and also you know punch this one a little bit forward all right so we can have that going a bit forward like so and maybe this going a bit forward okay so let's say this is our masterpiece okay this is what we want to use as you know our profile so what i'm going to do is i would simply close this one more time and uh go back here let's select this object go right over here select custom and then click on here select poly object and now select this so once you do that and click on okay you now use this particular profile, which is your custom profile, to control how this ones work. So you would notice that we have the same sort of distribution like we had earlier because we did set the distribution to five. So I can bring this one down and you can see it and uh, you can use this for a lot of things. And if we like to create frames, of course, we can easily create frames with it. So let's say we'll probably want to create a simple frame. For this one, I'm just going to go ahead and make a simple geometry like this let's scale this one all the way up press t on the keyboard lose and lose and let's actually lose this one as well select that right click go over to edge select one two three and four go over to where you have your modify convert this to curve okay convert the polygon edges to curve click this and instead of making this to be cubic, I'm just going to make it linear, click on apply and click on close. And that is one cool and quick way for you to be able to make a simple square that is made up of curves. So now that we have this, we will go over to rotate and let's rotate this by 90 degrees. And then we would go back to create and click on sweep. And with this sweep selected, if you now go over to where you have your custom, you can now simply select the poly object within the type and select this so with this you can have this selected and of course once you rotate this you can see that it controls how these actually work so this is a very cool one which you can now use for a lot of things and for those who are using older versions of maya so probably you're not using maya 2022 you're using maya let's say 2020 or maybe maya 2019 you can also take advantage of the maya tool and you might probably not be able to find this one when you go over to maya's app store so this is right on my gum road i'm going to put a link in the description where you can find it and it does exactly the same thing so we've already done a video about that before so it does exactly the same thing and uh you can use it for your personal stuff all right so for those who are looking for things like this you can grab this one and you can use it so let's say we want to make this about let's say 15 click on apply click on close and maybe we can just simply smooth this one out once you have it selected click right here and you now notice that we have this so what the folks at autodesk have actually done is they've taken this particular tool you can notice that the icon looks exactly the same so they've taken this particular tool and they have made it even way way better so this is more like it for those who would like to you know work with this and maybe you want to have this and uh, use it for your personal project right now you can simply start making some very beautiful designs with this one and potentially start making lots and lots of cool cables quite easily with tools like this tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss next video 
or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.